Hey, Harold Curry readers. It is uh, Tim Dotson, our morning digital reporter, bringing you a few of our headlines this morning for a Bristol Minute. So thanks for tuning in. Um, bringing you a couple of um, stories this morning. First up, we're reporting that an 11 count indictment lists each time authorities said the mother of Evelyn Boswell lied to them as searched earlier this year for the missing child whose body was ultimately found on March 6th in Bluntville. Um, on Wednesday, a Sullivan County grand jury met to hear evidence that prosecutors had against Megan Boswell. She's the 19-year-old mo mother of baby Evelyn. Um, the jurors have charged Boswell with 11 counts of false reports, which is a Class D felony that carries two to four years each. Um, now, authorities are continuing to investigate the case, but no charges have been filed in connection with the death. Um, you can find an article about this in today's paper and also over on our website, heraldcourier.com. So be sure to go look at that. My colleague Robert Sorrell um, has a good overview of, of what we know so far. And in other news, high percentages of voters cast in this past Tuesday's local races across Virginia and Britain. For example, nearly two-thirds of all 1,831 votes were cast absentee. Um, since the COVID-19 outbreak started in March, state and local officials were urging voters to use absentee ballots and vote from home rather than congregating at polling places on Election Day um, in May, which had, you know, we had more than 100 city and town elections across the state. Um, a COVID-19 exemption was added to expedite the process since current election law requires voters to give a reason why they cannot appear, appear on election day to cast their ballot. Um, so my colleague David McGee has an article about that in today's paper and online. Thanks for tuning in to Personal Minute. Hope you have a good start to your Thursday and I will see you back here tomorrow. Take care and stay safe.